everybody it's me LaRasha goddess queen just me 23 and this is going to be another zodiac sign reading and Leo's you are up so this is going to be for Leo's sun moon and rising as well as Venus and Mercury or if you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Leo in their chart this is for you too or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Leo in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Leo in their chart maybe there are some messages in this video for you too Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign, your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when you're dealing with love readings. Um, if you're not interested in listening to my intros at the beginning of my videos, um, you, there's always a timestamp at the bottom of the comment, uh, the, the bottom of my videos in the comment section of the video. You just scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a section that says comments. You'll see my timestamp there with the time if you want to go directly to the videos. Um, so please stop saying that my intros are long. Those people that are saying that I'm just going to see, see you as somebody that is basically putting out positive energy. I already stated in all my intros that there's always a timestamp. So for you to scroll all the way down to the bottom, just to say my intros is long. When I say it at the beginning of my videos, that's letting me know that you are one of those people that they have in my journey to trigger me. Okay. And that's the way that I'm going to see it and I'm going to ignore you and then you probably also will get blocked. Okay, so you have the opportunity to use your free will to do what's best for you. Okay, so at the end of the day, like I was saying, I, I'm right now it's a lot of stuff that's going on and I'm seeing the negativity, especially with me being a twin flame and me being on my twin, my journey with me having a role as this being a part of the collective I'm starting to see the illusions that I was living in, and especially the more that I wake up my soul, I start to realize who really I am. And so it's it's starting to be, again, Leo's gate. Um, one thing that my ancestors was like, okay, you got to do Leo's reading. You got to do Leo's reading because this full moon of Libra is today. And it's the pink um, full moon in Libra. And Libra is about justice, is about fairness. So this is, again... After Mercury retrograde with Libra being a full moon, this is going to be where a lot of people are going to be judged. So how I was saying in the other readings for you, Leos, if you experience a lot of stuff during Leo's gate um, two to three years ago, um, you have a lot of victory that's coming to you if you were the one that was more um, not doing things, you know, always doing things on a positive light, doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. So let's say if there was people that was using black magic, you know, wishing what negative will on you, those people are getting ready to uh, experience their karma. So that was a message that I had for y'all this morning. So just to let you know, um, I am today going to do the black magic video. So y'all look forward to that. I have to move forward. My ancestors and my, and my higher self are telling me, LaRasha, you have to put these messages out because there's a lot of stuff that's getting ready to happen. And again, I told you 2019 is when a lot of things are getting ready to be exposed. So I need to help everybody, um, a lot, you know, with all these messages that's coming out and all these things that are happening, um, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be unaware of exactly what's going to be what's going on and people that I was saying that's more um, woke, more, um, you know, experienced as far as their level of consciousness, they're going to be steps ahead of these other people. So you are here. So you're like the first um, 
the first responders is what I my ancestors like. You're the first responders. So us uh, being a Torah reading and then also the people that watches it and then you know that there's something that's going on. You can feel the energy. You can see a lot of things that's happening um, regardless if it's religion. You realizing, you know, the certain people in your, in, in your, your environment, um, you know, that never really had your best interest in heart, you know, living in illusions, waking up to who you really are. DNA activations are very, very, very strong um, during Mercury retrograde, as well as with when it comes to Libra and the full moons. So again, this is going to be something that's going to be exciting for some, and then some of them is going to be rough. Um, a lot of illusions, the veil is finally getting revealed. Um, and a lot of people, you see that my thing is starting, it fell. It was like, yeah, <laughs> she's speaking the truth, y'all. But anyway, let's keep going. Um, so, of course, I have my music in the background. Um, the cards have already been shuffled. Uh, it is uh, Aries slash Taurus season right now. It's the cusp. Um, so if you are um, born April the 16th or, you know, anybody born April the 16th through April the 22nd, they are an Aries slash Taurus cusp. Now it's getting ready to go from that fire energy, which is your regular energy for you, Leos. And now you're going to that earth energy. This is about you basically building up your confidence, dealing with your self-esteem, your insecurities, being that caring, that nurturing, that big part, uh, big hearted person. OK, just being honest with yourself, allowing yourself to heal yourself with that, you know, as far as the chakras, the ones that have to do with the earth. Um, which is, you know, your root and your heart chakra. So healing those two, two things will be your main focus. Um, it could also be, again, when it's earth energy as far as Taurus, you know, the earth is about materialistic things. So there could be a lot of materialistic things that you're dealing with, Leo, um, as far as money, finances. So now that's how you basically come aware exactly how the four seasons, these elements work and they mix in with the four seasons. Um, you can really start controlling your life. OK, so got my music in the background. Um, the cards have already been shuffled. These cards, which are the main cards, I will cut them on camera, um, shuffle them on camera. Everybody else's will be, these other cards will be cut. And then also one thing that I was getting was watching. I was getting Leo, they're watching you. So whatever that means for anybody, that could be the karmics, that could be, um, you know, other people. If you are on a certain level of um, consciousness, awareness, and you're helping, trying to fight, you know, awareness to, you know, other people I heard watching. I just keep seeing that somebody was watching I'm hearing watching and then this could be your twin flame. This could be your your other half. They can be watching you on social media. I just see watching whatever way the first thought that came into your mind whenever I said they're watching you. That's what you need to be um, that that your ancestors, my ancestors are in your higher self is wanting you to be alert about. OK, so whichever one was your first thought and whenever I said that. That's what you need to be paying attention to. Okay, moving forward. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, um, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Cards can be very, they're slippery. Uh, one already came out. Shuffle it one more time and so get this one card. We have the Empress card. So, um, uh, Leo's, you could be dealing with a, uh, the Empress is typically. Um, Aries as well as Taurus if you're not dealing with this this is somebody seeing you as an Aries slash Taurus um, this could also be situations that some of y'all could be dealing with situations as far as with your mother or it could be the mother or the father of your child is what I'm getting but when the Empress card comes out this is about somebody that's basically creative um, they um, people are seeing them as like you know um, very charming, very caring, very nurturing. Um, this is also about fertility. So some of you Leos could be um, pregnant or getting
getting ready to um, expect a baby is what I'm getting. But I feel that somebody is wanting to give some type of commitment. So when the Empress card comes out, this is about somebody wanting to give a commitment. They're wanting to be loyal. They're wanting to be uh, um, faithful is what I'm getting. So there could be some of you Leos. Let's say if you are a single Leo, you could be the Empress to everybody else. You could have other options that's available to you. This, these people can be seeing your, you know, your glow, the glow in you. They can see your grace is what I'm hearing. Um, but this is also again, like I was saying, mother. So some of y'all could be dealing with situations as far as your mother. Okay. I'm going to put that card there. So let's shuffle it three more times and then And I feel that somebody also got um, ideas or they got some type of hidden information. We have the Eight of Swords being reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles being reversed. We have the Six of Pentacles being upright. So this is about a past life. So again, this could be about a mother situation. So some of you Leos could be dealing with your mother situation. Um, is what I'm getting from this. And if it's not a mother, this could be a mother from your uh, your child's mother, or your child's father. So it could be somebody that was from your past as well. Um, somebody is seeing somebody as a, uh, and if this is a Leo man, you're seeing somebody as the empress. You're seeing somebody as that could be your wife, somebody that you can basically um, hold, um, you know, be committed to. Um, let's say, okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. They were like, turn over the card so you can understand where you're going with this. So this is about basically material happiness. This is about that emotional satisfaction. This is about having success in everything. This is about a wish that's being granted. So some of you Leos, like, like I was saying, if you are a Leo man, you your wish can be granted to be with your Empress, whoever you see as your Empress. Again, this could be a Taurus or this could be a, um, a an Aries is what I'm getting. Um, but this person is somebody that you see happiness. You see that you have complete joy with. This is somebody that you know that you can build a solid foundation with. Um, in the past, we have the eight of swords, which is reversed. So when the eight of swords is reversed, this is about you basically, um, releasing or, you know, breaking free from a certain situation. So let's say in the past, Leo's, or if this is a Leo woman or Leo man, whichever way, way you are, this could be vice versa. Um, so in the past, this person was causing you to feel like you were stuck. Um, some of you have been feeling stuck or feeling restricted. Some of y'all are removing yourself from a relationship is what I'm getting from this too, okay? Somebody possibly also had two options and somebody's removing themselves from a certain relationship. They're breaking free from a relationship um, is what I'm hearing from this too. And they could be going towards somebody that's from their past is what I'm hearing. Okay, um, when we have the Eight of Swords, when the Eight of Swords is um, upright, this is about restrictions, this is about feeling stuck, this is about block, as well as bad news, um, you know, dealing with your fears. So again, let's say if Leo's in the past, you were dealing with somebody that had fears of committing, or fears of, you know, not just being able to... Um, uh, build a foundation with a certain individual. This person could have had multiple people. We do have the ten, the two of pinnacles being reversed where this person could have been juggling, um, you know, options are juggling, um, you know, pretty much living their, 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 um, single life is what I'm hearing. So somebody could have been juggling two people. Some of y'all are dealing with a situation where somebody was juggling two people is what I'm getting from this, but somebody is breaking free from a certain situation. They're no longer wanting to juggle. Now this person knows exactly what it is that they want is when this card is reversed to me. If this is somebody that's coming back from your past, um, again, because you have the six of pentacles being here. And when the six of pentacles is coming out, this is about giving and receiving. And this is also about good karma with money. This is about somebody possibly could be receiving some type of gift um, as well as material um, success. So let's say Leo's in the past, if you were having issues as far as when it comes to a job or, you know, managing your finances, I feel by the end of the year, you're going to have some um, some some type of reward, some type of benefit that's going to be coming to you as far as your finances being better. You have the nine of Pentacles here again. All this money is out here. So I feel that somebody is gaining their independence. There could be an ending to a, a marriage or a relationship. Yeah, we have the emperor card being reversed. So somebody could be ending a relationship, um, um, 
this is about controlling. Let's say if you were dealing with somebody that was controlling or somebody that was very egotistical or somebody that was basically abusing their power. I feel that you have been very impatient with this person. Yeah, we have the devil card. So you feeling trapped. So I feel that some of you Leos possibly could be thinking that an Aries or a Taurus or somebody or this could be like I was saying a marriage um, somebody that is completely married to, married to somebody and you're breaking free from this relationship. There was a strong a commitment here, okay? So there could be, um, a, like I said, it's an ending to a relationship. This is, when the devil card is coming out, this is about temptations. This is about feeling bonded um, to a certain situation. So again, feeling stuck. Some of y'all are feeling stuck that you were stuck in this relationship is what I'm getting. Um, when the devil card, and this is also Capricorn. So when this comes out, this is also about fear. So again, somebody was fearing, let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, Leo, and this is a, your emperor or your empress, or this person has possibly fire in their chart is what I'm getting. Um, so it could be another fire sign, um, which is a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Um, this person is coming back, um, is what I'm getting. Um, now they're wanting to invest in the relationship. Let's say in the past that they were not investing in the relationship and they had multiple people or multiple options, which was causing them to juggle. It caused you to feel very overwhelmed, which made you feel like you were stuck in a relationship where you were feeling, you know, that you were attached. I feel that you possibly broke free from the situation. You have been, you know, gaining your independence, working on yourself, building your foundation. I feel that this person possibly could also be wanting to have a, you know, a baby or, um, um, you know, wanting to build a family with you, but they see you as the empress. They see you as the person that they want to give their the world to. Um, this is about them investing in a, in the relationship. So again, this is about we have the nine of pentacles. This is about big money. This is about inheritance. So some of y'all could be having a big gain when it comes to um, you and this person being together. Is what I'm getting from this too. Okay. Um, Okay, let's keep going. So we have the star card being reversed. So this is Aquarius. If this is Aquarius that's coming back from your past, we have the five of pentacles being reversed. And then we have the hangman card being reversed. So this, the hangman card is water, which is Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. So when the star card is being reversed, so let's say in the past, let's say Leos, if you, again, I feel that somebody got a lot of information or got gained clarity or they're going through some type of spiritual awakening. Um, in the past, this person was probably somebody that was just lacking that spiritual fulfillment. Um, again, let's say if this person in the past put you in some type of conflict, as far as um, competition is what I'm hearing. So somebody could have been dealing with an uh, Aquarius that put them in some type of competition. Okay, we have the star card being reversed and you possibly was losing hopelessness when it came to this connection. I feel that somebody has a strong connection. So there could be a twin flame or a life partner or whoever you see as a soulmate. I feel that this person is coming back. Um, this was a loss of friendship. It was a loss of love. This person possibly was also dealing with physical or mis mental issues, which was also causing you to feel drained or causing them to feel drained. But I feel that somebody did gain um, in the past, let's say if they were going through a spiritual awakening and they were not healing themselves spiritually, mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. I feel again that this person had some type of rebirth about them. If you see the star card is here. Yeah, and the star, you see two star cards here. So I feel that this could also be a soul. So let's say if you are a twin flame, and I'm just going to say it. Let's say if you are a twin flame, and it just popped into my head. So let's say if you are a twin flame, Leo, or cross watchers, and you're dealing with somebody who has strong Leo in their chart, you and this twin flame could be star seeds. Is what I'm hearing. You and this person could be star seeds. Okay, we have the five of pentacles being reversed. And when the five of pentacles is um, being reversed, again, this is about, again, successful and budgeting, things getting better. So again, this person is healing. They're doing the things that they need to do. If this is you, Leo, you have been doing the things that you need to do as far as your healing. If you were not healing in the past, again, um, some of y'all possibly had certain fears, certain things that was revealed to you that was causing you to, you know, doubt yourself is what I'm hearing. 
we have the hangman card coming out and the hangman card and when this is reversed this is about again um procrastination somebody playing the victim um you know so again let's say if this is a person that you are ending your uh, relationship because this person was juggling this person could have been playing the victim when the six of pentacles comes out this is also about somebody that's putting in to other relationships and putting into other things but not in completely putting in a hundred percent to you so they had focuses everywhere you know so you could have been leo somebody that also was let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past you could have been the person that was always providing for the relationship. You were always juggling um, as far as when it comes to the finances is what I'm hearing. Somebody was over compromising more than the other person was okay i feel again that somebody was lacking spiritual fulfillment because you have the hangman card and you have the star card here being reversed but this person went through a major spiritual awakening even though that they're reversed this just means that they had a hard time going through their spiritual awakening they were doing certain things that they were not supposed to be doing um in order for them to gain certain knowledge and are to be um you know moving a little bit better on their path and i feel that this person was doing certain things again if they were procrastinating or if they were playing the victim or they were you know lacking that spiritual fulfillment some of them were dealing with mental issues and they had to overcome and it could have been certain things that was from their past is what i'm hearing i keep feeling like somebody had to deal with a situation with their mother or um if it's not the mother it could have been the mother of their children is what i'm hearing or they could have been providing or giving income to their mother or the mother of their child and it was also causing this person to be stuck and causing issues as far as their their path is what I'm hearing. Oh, I don't know where these messages are coming from. We have playfulness. So it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youth, youthful spirit to, uh, spirit to fun. Okay. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So again, this is playfulness. This is this person coming in with some type of playfulness. This is also an intimacy card for me too. This is also basically going back to your childhood energy. So being that inner child. Um, again, I feel that this person is wanting to start a, a family with you. If this is somebody that's coming back from your past and this person had a transformation, um, there possibly could be a baby, baby that's going to be coming um, evolved. And this could be an Aquarius baby that you and this person is going to be um, having. Okay, um, we have past life relationships. So again, like I was saying, star seeds. If you and this person are star seeds, you and this person have had a past life before. You have known each other um, before. So it's saying that this is a real past life relationship. Y'all are realizing that. Again, somebody could have came to illumination that this person are, came, got some type of messages or experienced some type of dream where they're realizing that you and this person had past lives. I feel that somebody actually saw. They finally saw like the person that they have been going back and forth with in their dreams, they saw um, the past life that you and them, uh, you and them had, and it caused this person to have some type of fears. But at the same time, when they had fears, it caused them to be a little bit more um, okay with the connection because they realized. Um, oh wow! Sorry, y'all. Okay, had to turn that off. Okay. So, um, this is pretty much for that. I didn't know that. I apologize if y'all were hearing. Do, 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 do. Um, but this is what I'm hearing. I feel that this person is um, coming to realization. And this is the reason why this person is no longer wanting to juggle. Now they're wanting to uh, invest in this relationship. If they were procrastinating before, they're no longer wanting to procrastinate. Um, we have the five of pentacles. So now again, things are getting better as far as with them, you know, not fearing this connection is what I'm hearing. And this person now is coming and bringing um, playfulness. Okay. Okay, so we have trust. So this situation is going to um, require for you to have trust. It's going to require that you 
trust this person. Again, this person went through some type of spiritual awakening. So if they are coming back in a different energy and a more different, uh, a better energy, and they're bringing playfulness, you're just going to have to trust that this person has changed. Um, the universe is bringing you and this person together. Again, they're realizing that they, you have um, are their, their true love. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. So they're saying for you to have faith, Leo. Our cross watchers, you have faith in this Leo that everything is going to work out in your favor. Cow spirit. So it says the miracles are endless. So knowing that miracles are endless. Um, if you are on the right path, doing the things that you're needing to do as far as it, it when it comes to requires to your journey, knowing that you have miracles that's coming into you, you can be your own magician to manifest the things that you need um, as well is what I'm getting. We have a 15 here. So again, this is a six of so the past coming back. This is about you being in harmony as well. Cat spirit. So claim your independence. So again, earlier I was saying you're claiming your independence. If you are a Leo that has been single, again, there possibly could be somebody that's from your past that's wanting to come back is what I'm hearing. Um, and then if you are a Leo that's ending a relationship from somebody that is juggling um, and not investing in a relationship the way that you need him to be, I feel, again, you're going to be gaining your independence. You're going to be, um, you know, being focused more about yourself. You could be focusing more about your money or focusing, putting your, your attention more into your money is what I'm hearing from this too. But I feel that somebody is gaining their independence. Somebody is being free. Somebody could also, you, some of you Leos could be waiting for somebody to get released from jail. Is also what I'm hearing because we did have the devil card in here. So somebody could be in jail that you've been waiting for. And this person is finally gaining their independence. They're finally getting released from jail is what I'm hearing from this too. Okay. Um, I've been having withdrawals. <laughs> I feel that's what this person is going to be saying. I've been having withdrawals. Um wow i just got a visual okay so hawk, hawk spirit so it says let spirits be your guides so it's saying let spirits be your guides let your ancestors let your higher self guide you you're gonna have to trust the situation especially if you're getting certain synchronicity certain signs are your higher self are your ancestors pushing you to pick a certain path causing you making you no longer juggle um your life or juggle other people and just you know I feel that somebody is getting a major, like they're getting um, a reality check is what I'm hearing. I feel that somebody's getting a reality check. So we have a 32 here and this is a five and this caused conflicts for this person. But again, it brought change. Somebody got the, their, their illusions is getting broke down in front of them and it's causing them to have to really, 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 really trust themselves because they now, especially let's say if you are on a twin, if you are really, 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 really a real twin flame, you notice that Everybody that's in your environment, everybody that you deal with, even your children, your parents, everybody is in, in has some type of role, some type of play um, to when it comes to the connection between you and your twin. So some people are playing the role of helping y'all be together and some of the people are playing the role of keeping you apart. And again, I feel that somebody is getting um, their that veil is finally coming off. They're no longer able to live in the illusions. And now they're going to have to trust the situation because now the people that they are trusting are they're finding out or have been involved with them not living a certain path or not, you know, going a certain way as far as their life. OK, so what I'm hearing and this could be their mother. This could be, again, childhood friends. This could be, you know, your 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 own children. Um, somebody is basically getting um, a real, 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 real awakening, okay, is what I'm hearing. And they're going to have to basically ask on your higher self and your guides to lead you, and they're here for you. You just have to ask for them to, to guide you, okay? We have your desires are within reach, so it says have faith as as everything is working in your favor. So again, having faith, trusting the situation that everything is working out in your favor, knowing that your higher self, your guides, your ancestors is always going to lead you. Some of y'all, they're saying for you to pay attention to some of the birds that's around you because those birds could be certain ancestors, regardless if this is hawk spirits, um, uh, eagles. When I first start paying attention, when I was going through my spiritual awakenings, there were birds that would come around me and start. So I start Googling what these birds meant. 
I start also paying attention to how the birds fly directly at me. So I know if the the birds were dry, flying directly at me at my car or anything like that or coming straight, um, you know, flying straight through my car, um, I knew that I needed to pay attention. There was something around me that I needed to pay attention to um, or that I was listening to a song. There was a certain message that they really needed. So that's how you start paying attention to the certain synchronicities. And I feel that this person is having some type of awakening in this way. And again, their illusions is being shattered. Their whole foundation is being shattered. And it's going to take a while for this person to recover from it. But again, if, again, if this is a twin flame or you're waiting for this person, this person is coming back and they're saying your desires are within reach, um, is what I'm hearing. We have new homes. So some of y'all are going to be building a new home with this person. This person could be moving in with you. Leo, some of y'all possibly just moved. Are y'all thinking about, you know, um, you know, moving to a certain loca location? It says moving is a step in the right direction. So moving, somebody could be moving out of a relation, uh, out of a certain situation and moving into a new home is what I'm hearing. It says, ask for what you want. So it says, let the universe and other people know what you, uh, what you need. So again, asking your ancestors, asking your guides, asking the people that's around you for support, trusting that these people have your better. Um, when these people, the one, one thing that I want to say is that when you go on your journey and you are on your journey, you're going to know the people that you can trust. You're going to know the people that don't have the best interest. And again, if you are getting certain people revealed to you as wolf and sheep clothing, and then you're realizing that these people also had a play and, you know, certain things that have happened into your life are causing you to go through certain paths or causing you not to be, you know, in that relationship with your, your star seed, um, twin flame, your life partner. Again, I feel that they're saying you have certain people that's around you that can guide you and that can lead you. It says, ask the universe for help, um, praying, meditating, um, you know, things that you do, putting certain energies out there to the universe, um, allowing your ancestors to show you. Paying attention and being assertive is not what I'm hearing, Leos, okay? We have success and growth. So again, this person had a lot of growth about themselves. Now this person is, um, you're seeing success. This is also about you, Leos, you growing, you being that, that, that current, that, the, that courageous, that basically, um, that Leo, that person that's in power, um, using your, your passion, you seeking your passion, you being adventurous, you being de no noble as well as daring. Okay. We have an eight here, which is about movement. Okay. So this person had a lot of growth about themselves. If they're coming back from your past, we have 18. So it says, um, confront. So we have 19 um, here. So is, this is basically confronting yourself. So again, somebody was getting their um, th things that was hitting to them were finally getting revealed secrets and um, for finally getting revealed. This person is also seeing a mirror as far as a reflection in themselves. If they was causing deflect uh, deceptions um, are, you know, in the relationship are having certain fears. They're, they're realizing, you know, their own shadow self. They're realizing their own darkness is what I'm getting. There could have been also a confrontation between you um, and um, this other person is what I'm getting. So some of y'all could have a confrontation. I don't, I don't know why. So, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So let's say, Leos, if you are um, waiting for your divine partner, and I'm just going to say divine partner, twin flame, soul partner, life partner, star seeds, whatever, your divine partner to come back, I feel there could be a confrontation between you and the karmic is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's keep going. We have detached, so detach yourself from a certain situation. So again, if y'all are dealing with a situation where somebody was cheating on you and they were not being faithful, they were juggling, I feel that you're going to be detaching yourself from that situation. Again, you're going to be gaining your independence. You're going to be the empress. You're going to be that emperor. You're going to gain your independence. You're going to gain your freedom. You're going to be self-focused more on yourself and your own self-healing is what I'm hearing. Some of y'all have already detached yourself from this connection. And again, this person is now realizing that they were destined to be with you. If this person now was not um, taking action and you detached yourself from this person, again, play with fire, you get burned. Wow. Play with fire, you get, you get burned. And again, like I was saying, let's say if somebody was using black magic, um, um, black magic, something... Black magic, spell work, um, cursing you and your twin flame. I feel that this person is finna to get some type of judgment. They're finna get some type of judgment. We have 11 here. So this is a twin flame number. Already pretty much 
like I was saying, I feel that this is somebody's twin flame rating. This is a number 11. This is about uh, um, new beginnings. We have you are supported. So the universe supports this connection. And especially if you are star seeds or you know that you and your divine partner is uh, meant to be together because you have a matching pair here, okay? You have the empress and you have the emperor. That's the two highest um, positions that you can have in the tour reading and in the tour um, um, deck. Okay. So this is somebody that is destined to be together. Again, you have the, you let's forget that the cards are reversed. You have the emperor's card. You have the emperor card. You have the star card. You have where's all these other cards. Give you a taste of your own medicine. Okay. Now the cards, I can't find them. Okay, you have the devil card. You have the ace of wands. You have the hangman card. So this is pretty much spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening, a journey, two people that are destined to be on a journey together. They're feeling like they're bonded to the, because there is some type of attachment. If whenever you are with the divine uh, counterpart, there is an attachment. You are bonded together. Y'all are soul people. Uh, Y'all, you know, have each other's soul. So again, you are so star seeds is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all are star seeds. Action, motivation, determination, inspiration, as far as when it comes to the connection between you and this person. Then you have the hangman card coming out. Okay, so this is this person surrendering. They're finally surrendering to the connection if they were not seeing it before. And again, let's say if somebody had this person under some type of spell or using some type of spell work, they're breaking free from that. Okay, they're detaching themselves from that. Okay, so this person is coming to you. We have divine time, and I can't make this shit up. Divine timing is waking up in, wor working in your favor, Leo. So if you were not getting justice and somebody was doing certain things to keep you and this person for not being together, things are working out in your favor. You, you Your desires are within reach. We have inspired idea. I was just saying inspiration. Like, wow, I love when these cards come out like this, okay? I love when these cards come out like this, okay? So this is basically you getting inspiration, you being inspired, you doing the things that you need to do. If there's certain um, projects, certain ideas that you have, they're saying for you to be creative in them, do the things that you need to do as far as having your ideas, um, investing in your ideas is what I'm hearing as well, investing in your product, your product or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Um, basically, um, you know... Um, Putting in action is what I'm hearing, okay? Inspired idea. Last card we have, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for life, for your life, okay? So it says, imagine all unwanted, unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life, okay? So I'm going to end it here. The cards that we have, again, we have the devil. So this is Capricorn. We have the hangman, which is Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. We have the ace of wands, which is uh, Leo, Aries, as well as, well as Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. We have the emperor card and the empress, which is Taurus, as well as Arius. And that is it. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.